Today I will discuss about accommodation insufficiency. Don't forget to attempt quizzes at the end of the video. To get written notes of this lecture, you can visit our official website smartoptometryacademy.com. When amplitude of accommodation is lower than the expected for the patient age is called accommodation insufficiency. Suppose at the age of 18 years, patient's minimum amplitude of accommodation according to obstetrical formula is amplitude of accommodation equal to 15 minus 0.25 multiplied by age or 15 minus 0.2 multiplied by 18 or 15 minus 4.5 or 10.5 diopter. If a 18 years old patient has amplitude of accommodation of less than 10.5 diopter, then it may be a case of accommodation insufficiency. Generally, at least 2 diopter less than the minimum amplitude of accommodation for the age is considered accommodation insufficiency. Now let's see what are the clinical features of accommodation insufficiency. Symptoms Difficulty in near work but comfortable at distance Gradually blurring of vision Discomfort and eye strain associated with near task Heaviness of eyelid associated with near task Difficulty with attention and concentration while reading Now what are the signs of accommodation insufficiency? 1. Amplitude of accommodation and near point of accommodation Amplitude of accommodation will be low and near point of accommodation will be receded or goes away from the patient. 2. Monocular accommodative facility In monocular accommodative facility, patient will face difficulty in clearing minus lens. 3. Binocular accommodative facility In binocular accommodative facility, patients will face difficulty in clearing minus lens. 4. Negative relative accommodation in negative relative accommodation, patient will accept high plus, so negative relative accommodation will be high. 5. Positive relative accommodation. In positive relative accommodation, patients will have difficulty in clearing minus lens, so positive relative accommodation will be low. 6. Monocular estimated method. In monocular estimated method, there will be lag of accommodation, so it will be high. Generally, more than 0.75 diopter. Remember, in accommodation insufficiency, patient will have difficulty in clearing minus lens. Now, you might be thinking, why does accommodation insufficiency have difficulty in clearing minus lens? Let's see in the next slide. Why minus lens difficulty in accommodation insufficiency? As we already know, in accommodation insufficiency, near point of accommodation receded or goes further away from the patient. When a minus 1.5 diopter lens is introduced, it shifts the rays behind the retina. To bring the rays on the retina, patient needs 1.5 diopter of accommodation, but patient already has insufficiency of accommodation. So, introducing a minus lens in accommodative insufficiency may blur the image. Thus, in accommodative facility and positive relative accommodation, patient with accommodation insufficiency face difficulty to clear minus lens. Now let's see management plan for accommodation insufficiency. Non-strabismic binocular anomalies management plan divided into following categories. 1. Refractive correction. 2. Added lens power. 3. Prism. 4. Occlusion therapy. 5. Vision therapy. and 6. Surgery. Let's see what are the protocol for accommodation insufficiency. Refractive correction. Always refractive correction should be given. Added plus lens, yes, it's an important option and should be given. Prism, no prism is given in any accommodative anomalies. Occlusion therapy, no occlusion therapy is given in any accommodative anomalies. Vision therapy, vision therapy is secondary if symptoms not improve with plus lens. Surgery, no surgery is advised in any accommodative anomalies. So, overall accommodation insufficiency management plan includes 1. Refractive correction, 2. Added plus lens, 3. Vision therapy. Let's see how to give correction in accommodation insufficiency and how to detect added plus lens power. How to give refractive correction in accommodation insufficiency. 
Accommodation insufficiency is mostly associated with myopia. Due to increased total converging power of our eyes, patient can see clear even without using accommodation. Thus, in uncorrected myopia or undercorrected myopia, patients may develop accommodation insufficiency. To correct the myopia, we can give full correction or follow minimum minus and maximum vision. But the point to be remember is, when we correct myopia, suddenly eyes needs accommodation to work more to focus rays on the retina. As accommodation is insufficient, accommodation can't fulfill the new demand of accommodation and patient face difficulty with near task with myopic correction. Thus, giving a plus lens in accommodation insufficiency is an important option. But remember, this plus lens is temporary to relieve the symptoms. With time, we need to remove the plus lens when accommodation back to normal limit. Let's see how to identify the amount of plus power we need to prescribe in accommodation insufficiency in the next slide. How to identify added plus lens power in accommodation insufficiency. The added plus lens power may be determined by different methods. One, based on NRA and PRA values. Two, MEM retinoscopy. Three, based on AC by air ratio. Here we will discuss about how to find added plus power based on NRA and PRA values. A simple formula can be used to identify added plus power. Plus power needed equal to NRA minus PRA divided by 2. Remember, numerical difference of NRA and PRA is taken, no plus or minus sign is taken. Suppose NRA is plus 3.5 diopter and PRA is minus 1.5 diopter. So, added plus lens will be 3.5 minus 1.5 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 2 or 1 diopter. So, initially with distance myopic correction, we will start with a plus lens of 1 diopter. Then, with time when accommodation will be normal, we have to remove the plus lens. In the next video, I will discuss about accommodation access in details. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.